Welcome back everyone and today we're going to have a little look at essay writing okay so essay writing is a very very important skill uh, if you're going to university a lot of your assignments will be in essay form or if you're doing English exams of course for example FCE Cambridge exams, IELTS exam, uh, ECPE exam and even in the Cambridge proficiency you write essays as well even though they're slightly different but never mind so essays are very important writings and you need to know how to do them let's have a little look shall we so some basic tips when you're writing an essay alright so read the essay question carefully this is very important because if you're not answering the question you're going to lose marks maybe even fail alright so take your time even though maybe if it's an exam and you're under you're under a bit of pressure and you're stressed out try and take a couple of deep breaths clear your head and think carefully yep. decide what type of essay that you are going to write now we'll get to this in a minute but basically there are two types of essay alright there is a discursive essay where you're just discussing one point all right or there's an argumentative essay where you're looking at one side and the other side so you're kind of looking at the arguments for and against something all right so um, some essays will clearly be discursive some of them will obviously be uh, argumentative and other essays it really depends on your point of view okay so you can write either a discursive or an argumentative and you need to decide which one will be easier which one you've got more ideas for and anyway more on that in a minute okay take your word limit into account now this is um, obviously for university and things that your tutors will tell you or professor will tell you it needs to be this many words and when he says it it should be that many words or you're going to lose mark for as regards exams it's exactly the same okay in Cambridge uh, first certificate you've got to write up to 190 words so you have oh well between 140 and 190 words for IELTS you've got to write over 250 words for ECP proficiency between one and a half pages and two pages so they tell you precisely how much you've got to write alright so you need to write that much it ain't rocket science alright brainstorm for ideas and topic vocabulary now this is very important because um, depending what your uh, essay is about you need to you should have a plan of what you're going to write before you write it okay and the reason why you do this is so you don't get yourself into the situation where you're going oh, and you get to the end of the essay and you're like oh I forgot to write that and then some students will start with their magic arrows Woo, an arrow here Woo, an arrow there can't do that um, because you're just showing the examiner how disorganized you are all right so organize your ideas and vocabulary as I said here topic vocabulary so maybe if it's about the environment you want to talk about recycling green energy uh, being environmentally friendly, sustainable resources, all these buzzwords, okay, that you probably have been learning, um, especially if you're doing uh, studying uh, English. All right, so this is very important, and as well as this, you should have your expressions, of course, yes, on the one hand, on the other hand, and there's lots of them, and there'll probably be another video with some expressions to get you started, yeah. All right prepare a skeleton essay alright so some of you out there will be like what? what is a skeleton essay it's just a plan but I like calling them skeleton essays because it sounds so much more complicated alright alright so we'll get to a skeleton essay in a minute let's have a look at this question okay a very easy essay kind of I think <laughs> it is not worth paying attention to fashion because it is here today and gone tomorrow so if I was given um, this topic, I would spend three or four minutes brainstorming, getting ideas, and organizing my work. So first of all, 
as with every essay, I would have my introduction. All right, uh, for sure. And in my introduction here, I'd probably talk about nowadays everyone wants to follow fashion. You see it everywhere on TV and magazines and things like this. All right, then. I would, well first of all I would have to think whether it's going to be discursive or argumentative. I would do this argumentative because it would be easier for me to look at both sides. So my first one, here are some of the points I've come up with. I've said it's good to follow fashion because it makes you more self-confident. Um, if you're buying uh, fashion, usually you're buying brands so it's better quality clothes. And also I'm going to say things like um, always come back into fashion and maybe I would use these big sunglasses that everybody's wearing or something like this yeah so very briefly yeah just to give me a guide to follow but then because it's argumentative I'm gonna look at the other side so I'm gonna say it's bad because it costs a lot of money um, you're not expressing yourself you're just following other people um, you shouldn't give in to peer pressure and I'm also gonna say some fashions are ridiculous and I'm going to come up with an example, um, which I can't think of at the minute, but you get my point, yeah? And then, finally, I'm going to have my conclusion, where I'm going to say, basically, personally, I believe that people should express themselves, all right, which is the most important thing. So, basically, a skeleton essay, as you can see here, is a plan, all right? So, let's have a look at the types of essay now, all right? starting with discursive. Now, generally the rule of thumb here is an essay, whether it's discursive or argumentative, should be four to five paragraphs. You, the golden number is four. You can't go wrong with that. All right, so discursive essay is this one. Let's have a look at this question. What are the advantages of modern technology? All right, so this is clearly, you're not looking at the disadvantages, you just want all the advantages, one side of it. So I'm going to have my introduction, introducing the topic. And here's the thing. Now I'm going to state my opinion. Yeah? Um, so uh, why uh, I think technology is so brilliant. And then what I'm going to do is explain it. I'm going to have, I've said two points here. You could have one point, two points, or three points. Um, explain them with examples then I'm going to give some more points maybe another one point another two points but you see everything is clearly organized into paragraphs and I always use the examples to uh, be persuasive all right and you'll notice as well I say you say the point and you explain the point all right this is very important and then give examples and finally, in my conclusion, I'm just going to re-emphasize um, why technology is so useful. And maybe I could uh, refer but on the future. But you see, so this is a discursive essay where I'm just discussing one side of a topic. Yeah? Now let's look at the other one. So on the other hand, we have an argumentative essay. Let's have a look here. So what are the pros, the advantages, and the cons of modern technology? Yeah, so this is quite clearly, I need to look at both sides of this topic to answer the question properly. Yeah? So, and here you'll see a difference between uh, argumentative and a discursive. Introduce your topic and the different viewpoints. So, in a discursive essay, I will be stating my opinion. But in an argumentative essay, I am not. I save that for the conclusion. Alright? And you'll see I've said here, question. Because the, one of the easiest ways to end your introduction is to say something like, however, what are the advantages and disadvantages of modern technology? Yeah? This clearly shows the examiner or anyone who's reading your essay what your essay is going to be about. So then I would have one side of the essay, and it's usually the side of the essay that you disagree with. All right? So your viewpoint, a view you disagree with, you explain um, some uh, the reasons uh, why and two to three points explained and again with examples wherever possible. Then you say the viewpoint that you agree with. You explain each of your points and again give examples. And finally 
you strongly state your opinion on this topic and you could re-emphasize why if you wanted or again perhaps uh, refer to the future and leave the examiner with food for thought so to speak yeah so hopefully this has highlighted some of the differences between discursive and argumentative essays for you the final check, it doesn't matter what kind of essay you're writing, there's one thing you should always do, because even um, native speakers, uh, when we're writing, people make mistakes, okay, because our brains are thinking about a million and one things at once. It's natural to make grammatic errors, spelling mistakes, miss out words, you know, and because of this, we should always read through our work, checking for grammatic errors, spelling mistakes and improving vocabulary wherever possible yeah, especially if you're in an exam and you have extra time at the end five ten minutes put this time to good use and check over your work all right so i hope this video has been useful and if there's any queries or questions as per usual get in touch thanks for watching bye for now